Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and this is the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 26th of uh, May to June 2nd, 2018. Today I'm filming from my mother's terrace, we're having a grand water trine in the skies this week so I thought it only apt to be in this very Venusian, Jupiterian atmosphere here. There's so much color uh, around me but the uh, camera can only uh, catch so much. So, what do we have in the Celestial Dome this week? First of all, we're moving a little bit away from this very male heated energy that we've had in the sky into something that is more feminine, that is more creative, that is softer and more flowing in its nature. So as we were moving from that uh, uh, male energy we moved into something neutral that was more cerebral in nature and and now we're moving into something that is very emotional in nature as well that you know I'm, I'm, I'm just longing for this feminine energy to conquer a piece in my life in my day again it's been too hectic for me lately so let's see Saturday the 26th we're having Venus opposing Saturn. This is a, a transit that we've been feeling, <coughs> I'm sorry, during the last week and we're going to feel it during this week as well. But it's mitigating from Saturday onwards. And this is a, a testing time, a time of trial for our relationships, for the way we satisfy ourselves or our uh, self-esteem, or the way we draw in funds in our life. Where, whether one of these subjects in our life is imbalanced or... or um, unbeneficial for us in the long run, this is the time that we'll be feeling it most acutely. This is the time that this subject will jump up to the table and we'll be faced with a judgment or a trial and, and, and a need to overcome our um, innate childish nature and, and, and mature and be more responsible and work within our rules, so to speak. So Saturday is a bit of a sensitive day, but Sunday is an amazing day. There's so much beautiful patterns happening in the sky. There's also a Queen Cox by Saturn to the true node. Let's not go in there. Uh, the moon is sextiling Saturn, it's trining Venus. It's a Jupiter moon conjunction, it's trining Neptune. It's a very creative day. And it's a very... Um, um, there's something flowing about this energy uh, that we can actually enjoy together with others, taking forward uh, uh, together with others or receive satisfaction together with others. We can actually take heavy, um, do some heavy lifting, you know, take some very heavy subjects in our life, things that we've been uh, um, pushing away or postponing and deal with them in a fashion that is not only beneficial and positive, but is also fun, much more fun than we expected them to be. Um, just one thing about this Sunday, don't overdo it. The Jupiter-Moon conjunction can make us be too total. Um, and since this is a moon in Scorpio, it's already very intense. So just moderate your day, but do fill it up and of course for anything artistic creative or spiritual sunday is a wonderful thing it's also a great day to go outside monday the 28th is much more sensitive in a sense that there could be misunderstandings between you and people that you'd have to make sure that your information the information that you put out and the information that you intercepted are all accurate that you understood or transmitted your information accurately uh, it's not a good day to make decisions in. Other than that, um, Tuesday the 29th, we're having the moon sextiling Mars, very energetic day, and a full moon in Sagittarius, 8 degrees of Sagittarius. So the 27th, the 28th, and the 29th are all, uh, are all days that we have an, an energetic buildup coming up to that full moon in eight degrees of Sagittarius on the 29th. And it's a positive full moon. It is opposing Mercury in Taurus. So it's a lot about expansion. It's a lot about growth. It's a lot about widening our horizons and 
understanding things in the, in the greater scheme of things or the greater picture or from higher up in the building. So it's very expansive in nature, but that expansion has to be well based in the here and now, in reality, in the so-ness of things. That Mercury um, in Taurus would not let you, it would provide the realistic information, what's coming up on the ground, uh, um, the, the sensible, uh, down-to-earth, um, thoughtful and, 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 and uh, realistic Mercury is going to slow things down and say, listen, you can't expand if you don't have a bridge between that image you have in your brain and reality. If you want to <coughs> make that dream come true, you will have to build a staircase. You can't, and, and this is something to watch out from with this full moon energy. Not to become too enthusiastic, too optimistic, too naive in a way, and be a Don Quixote kind of fellow, Don Quixote de la Mancha, you know, a dreamer that uh, doesn't see reality as it is. Wednesday, the 30th, we're having a Mercury ingress into Gemini. Uh, Mercury is moving into the sign that it rules. Our whole pace picks up. Mercury is very fast. It's uh, going uh, towards a superior conjunction with the sun. Um, it's in the sign that it rules, so it's strong. Our minds could be brighter, work faster. We could be much more inquisitive and, and, and uh, curious. And we could grow very tired and bored with something a lot faster. We could move from subject to subject a lot sooner and spread out and not be that deep you know, be a little uh, on this, on scratching the surface on many different subjects in our lives. It's a time not to spread out too thin. Um, and we're having the Sag Moon squaring Neptune on Wednesday the 30th. Not a good day for decisions. Um, a day that we could be a little insecure. Watch that. The 31st, Capricorn Moon squares Chiron. Another sensitive day. Be careful not to hurt other people. Not to be too hurt yourself or too sensitive yourself. Do try new things as there is a trine to Uranus uh, by, from the moon. And it's a great time to dare. It's a great time to innovate. It's a great time to do things differently and to go out of your routine. And don't be too harsh with yourselves. Don't be too strict on that day. Know how to round your corners because the moon is going to conjunct harsh, cold, uh, judgmental Saturn. But, as I said, there's a feminine energy coming in that we'll be feeling already from the full moon, but it's going to strengthen during uh, the end of the week. And on that Thursday, it would be already great for us to connect to it, to meditate a little, or to do some yoga, or to go outside, or to paint, or to dance, or to make some music, because we're heading into a grand water trine between Venus and Cancer, Neptune and Pisces, Jupiter and Scorpio, and we're having a Mercury trine Mars as well, so a lot of bright ideas and a lot of forward movement within our cerebral sphere as well. But let's talk about that water triangle. It's a very feminine, creative, muse-like, more gentle, delicate, inspirational uh, uh, atmosphere that is transcending, that is slowing things down and reminding us that plugging into our recharges is not is a necessity it's not a fringe benefit and finding out what this intimate personal connection is for us whether it is going into our own world when we're dancing or making music or painting or writing or just being out in nature or or is it connecting to the people we love and feel intimate with? Is it uh, going out to the cinema or hearing concerts or listening to uh, uh, music uh, music uh, 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 bands playing or going to galleries or whatever it is? This is the time to do it. 
and this is a time to not only recharge yourself through it but fertilize yourself and your environment through it and this is really the message for this week we have a time that if we don't give ourselves the leniency to enjoy ourselves a little and to take a slower pace and to actually smell the roses and hear the wind chimes then we're not only missing out on something important for our own fertility and well-being but for the fruits of others around us as well because they'll not be receiving us because we have not inseminated ourselves with that fruitfulness on Saturday the second we're having the moon conjunct Pluto don't be too total don't be too absolute don't be too intense uh, do moderate yourselves and your feelings and other than that it's a beautiful day for some intimacy uh, that is either psychological or sexual in nature so have a beautiful week and I thank you for sharing this for commenting and for liking it because it spreads these videos to more people of course for private consultations private lessons or joining a group in English through your computer or smartphone to study with me just contact me and that's it I'm signing off and I want to thank you again. This is Boaz Final. Goodbye.